The focus of the hospitals in, in recent years has changed somewhat to be more attuned to the outpatient setting with a goal to limit the high cost utilization that occurs when when patients end up in the emergency room and subsequently in the inpatient unit. There are penalties for patients that are admitted for COPD, discharge, and then return and get readmitted within 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. These are the patients that you have to identify. The prevalence for comorbid non-CF bronchiectasis with COPD is much greater than anyone ever really realized. The COPD patient with comorbid bronchiectasis that has not been diagnosed is the poster child for that four to six percent of patients that consumes 30 to 40 percent of the healthcare dollars. So if you take all patients with COPD with moderate, severe, and very severe disease, over 50 percent of those patients, if you do high-res CT scans on them, you will find comorbid radiographic bronchiectasis. Now, not all those patients are symptomatic from their bronchiectasis. So then you have to just dig a little bit and talk to the patient. And if that patient says, you ask them, do you frequently have infections that require antibiotics? And they go, no. So when was the last time you were on an antibiotic for bronchitis or whatever it was called? Oh, it's been years. That's not a patient you're gonna have to treat their bronchiectasis for at that moment. You'll be aware of it, you'll follow them with expected observation, and if their clinical course deviates, you know they have that but it doesn't require intervention. However, if you have a COPD patient who tells you, I'm always sick, doc. I'm in the emergency room like every few months. I get hospitalized two or three times a year for an exacerbation of my COPD. You find bronchiectasis in that patient, you hit pay dirt. It is fundamentally important that we identify the COPD patients with comorbid bronchiectasis because these are the patients that are being treated and discharge in the hospital and returning and being treated and discharged. These are the patients that are in and out, this revolving door. Once you've identified the comorbid bronchiectasis and get them effective treatment, you stop that. These people, they stay healthy, they stay out of the hospital.